Here is how the talkies have changed our best 1929 motion picture studios. Photoplay, March 1929. This is a close-up of the newspaper city room built in the Paramount famous Lasky Astoria Long Island Studios for the all-talky version of the Broadway play Gentlemen of the Press. This is the first complete detail picture of a talkie studio ever made, and shows the entire setup of soundproof camera booth, the director's signal switch box, and the microphones, here enclosed in white circles, in position. In the immediate foreground, you see Walter Houston, the stage star, who has the leading role of Wick Snell, and Mary Williams, who portrays the society editor. Just back of Houston is Charlie C., who has the part of Wilkie, the veteran news editor, Remember C as an Edison director in the old days? In the camera booth, you see George Fulsey, chief cameraman, and Sam Levitt, his assistant. Seated in front of the booth is Millard Webb, the director of the picture. Standing at the extreme right is S.C. Chapman, in charge of the sound recording for this picture. Webb's hand rests upon the green and red light switch used to start and stop the motors driving the cameras and the sound recording apparatus. This little machine has succeeded the old-time megaphone. An important gentleman is not visible in this picture. He is the monitor, the new power behind the pictures. The monitor is an electrical expert who sits in a soundproof booth overlooking the stage, and controls the volume of sound that reaches the machines in the recording room. He prevents the players' voices from reaching the screen either too loudly or too softly. Here, then, is the new studio layout. Note how the cameraman, a former overlord of motion picture making, is retreating in power, giving way to electric experts. The electrician is the new god of the films, 